is the second season of the Williams RTG career mode. We didn't have the best ends to last season. I'll leave it there if you haven't watched it. But what is going on everybody? My name's Harry and we're ready for the second season of the Road to Glory career mode. We're taking a big step over the winter but the sad news is that Fernando Alonso has decided to retire for the second time. He came back for a, for a season, decided no, nah, it wasn't for him and he's gone again. So he will, will replace him. We've got the calendar now then. So we're going from Bahrain to Monaco to Baku, Canada. Then we have a break before Silverstone, Hungary, Spa, Monza, Singapore and rounding out the season in Brazil where it should be. Now I know at the time of recording that Imola and Portimao are both are both available on the F1 game now. Good master I bring brought them out. But when I recorded this video it was a long time ago. Um so they weren't out so for season three they will definitely be in the calendar so as you can see here we've got a new helmet for the season last last season's helmet it wasn't great i think this the season's helmet as you can see is a, is much nicer but we can see the car being unveiled where it started last season it looks very very similar you know very similar to last season's car <laughs> but we're looking at the R&D now and you can see that everyone has kind of gone down a little bit but because I was able to save all of our R&D point parts from the regulation changed we've kind of just straight lined it and we've actually not the quick we're not the we're not the slowest car on the grid we got there in the end um, but the Chinese driver, Guan Yu Zhou, I believe that's how you say it, has replaced Fernando Alonso. And that is quite realistic because I'm pretty sure that he is Alpine's, um, part of Alpine's youth and is their reserve driver. So I think that's quite realistic. But we're going to skip qualifying and this is the race for the first round of the second season and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tyre into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, edging out Lando Norris, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Ricardo, Max Verstappen, and Sainz, Bottas, Perez, Leclerc, and Pierre Gasly, Sonoda, Stroll, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Ocon. Raikkonen, Russell, Mick Schumacher, and Brown, Giovinazzi, and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So then the five red lights come on. It's an easy one stop here in Bahrain for us. We start in 18th. It's lights out and away we go. And it's a good start by those at the front. It's a good start by the Ferrari. And look at Lando Norris in his McLaren going wheel to wheel. With Lewis Hamilton into the first corner. With Center down the inside. We're side by side with a Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. We try to go around the outside but, but we come off the track. We're ahead of an Alvatari. We've gained a good couple of positions. Lando Norris couldn't get the job done on the Mercedes. We go round the outside of the Alvatari, tried to go around the outside of the Ferrari of um, Carlos Sainz and there goes Charles Leclerc trying to go around our outside but we cut him off 
and we stay ahead. That's a good, it's a good first lap for us. As we trundle around at the end of lap one, you can see we've gone from 18th to um, 14th. No, to 10th. It's really hard to see and very blurry that. And now, here comes um, Charles Leclerc up our inside into the final corner after he went a little bit wide at turn 12. But we're not done yet. He may be the much quicker car, but I'm still not going to make it easy for him as we fly back past with our straight line speed in the Williams. No DRS yet, of course. We're only on lap two. Um, but we get the job done on, Carlo, um, on Charles Leclerc and he might come back at us again though here. Yes, he is because that Ferrari much quicker than our car. But round the outside of Charles Leclerc we go as he tries to go up the inside we're gonna be side by side through the through the tight left Anderson we've we've gone we we understeered off the track and Charles Leclerc has been forced off the track and he's just stopped off the track he's not even attempted to get back on it quick he's just sat there and Charles Leclerc has gone plummeted down the order as we hit the the sign there the, the sponsor board and now battling the Alfa Tauri of Pierre of Yuki Sonoda and Sonoda gets the job done on us but that's my fault that's my fault that incident I went for it he, he went for it around the outside and he deserved enough room there I just understood though through that corner and it's hurt Charles Leclerc's race but now behind us is Guan Yu Zhou who if you're around on the channel on F1 2020 for the My Team series, he was our teammate at the start and he did not um, renew his contract with us halfway through the season. So this, this is more than just Williams v Alpine. This is personal between me and Guan Yu Jai as we keep the Chinese driver behind. And now look at Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen, the most experienced man on the grid, gets the job done on on um, Guan Yu Zhou. And now he's having a little look at us. Kimi Raikkonen, of course, if this was real life, Kimi would not be here right now. That's the sad truth. I'd be surprised if he continues on into next season. Surprised that Alonso retired before him. But isn't this a bit nostalgic? Here comes Kimi Raikkonen down our inside into turn one. It's just like it was 12 months ago. And he gets the job done on us. This time we're going to sit, sit in his slipstream though. But we're just a little bit too far back to do anything just yet. But, oh, we've gone a little bit wide, and that looks a lot closer than we actually were. And now Guan Yu Zhou's coming back at us again as we sail around the outside. How was there not contact there? That's a sensational move by us, if I do say so myself. But we get the job done. Um, there's Guan Yu Zhou, and now we've got to sit behind. But now you can see behind us is Lance Stroll in his Aston Martin as we try to go to the outside of of Guan Yu Zhou and now but that's just allowed Lance Stroll to get up our inside and Lance Stroll is going to get a sl uh, incredible slipstream here with three wide and Lance Stroll has got past both of us and now we try to go back round the outside of Guan Yu Zhou we have the inside line for turn two and we do re-overtake Guan Yu Zhou and we're up now into turn four we go a little bit wide Guan Yu Zhou still all over the back of us but going through turn 10 and and turn 11 and, and Guan Yu Zhou's engine has blown and his rookie debut in Formula One quite literally goes up in smoke can't actually see where he's on the track there I think he's behind the, the timing tower but we got rid of when Alpine was eliminated, but now SMN Ocon is there as well. As now we go through a turn of three and we're on the back of Esteban Ocon now. Heading up to the corner, we tried to go back around the outside, but we couldn't. And he stays ahead of us, and now the McLaren 
of Daniel Ricciardo. This was when the two stoppers were starting to come back through. We were just stand, staying in touch with Ocon. Right into the pits now we come for our one and only stop of the night. Here under the lights in Bahrain. Great season opener here in Bahrain. As we come into the into the into the pit box, onto the hard, lovely stop, 2.4 seconds, but we're still behind Esteban Ocon. We're staying in touch. This is this is promising for the season. Yes, Bahrain is a very different track to compare to others. And when we go um, to Monaco, very different track. But here comes Esteban Ocon on Kimi Raikkonen and Ocon's gone round the outside and we've sent it down the inside of both we're not messing about there but Kimi Raikkonen does keep us behind but this time we're gonna go round the outside at turn four can we get the exit yes we can and that's an incredible move on the most experienced driver on the grid that is incredible we managed to get away from those behind, but here comes Pierre Gasly. He wasn't. He wasn't. He. We were not racing him today. Um, but Pierre Gasly gets us on lap 18. We were just kind of managing the pace of Esteban Ocon here. A few cars got in between us, but here he comes. We are going to come back at Pierre Gasly because I'm not going to make it easy for him because this, this is for position now. Battling over P11. And now as he goes back up our inside. It's up the inside goes Pig Gasly. And he looks to have got the job done there. Through um, that section we go. But Pig Gasly has the job. Carlos signs all over the back of us now. Of course. We, we wiped out his teammate at the start of it as we go wide. Carlos Sainz is going to get the exit. And Carlos Sainz does get the job done on us. These are on much quicker tyres. These have made the second stop now. And we're just on the hard tyres. Had no pace whatsoever. But Carlos Sainz gets the job done. And we're further down the order. Which is great. Very good. Um, but... Esteban Ocon caught up to the back of us and here look lap 28 there's just two to go Esteban Ocon went for it tries to go round the outside we are not giving it up we've pretty much battled Esteban Ocon the entire race pretty much as he tries to go down our inside but here we go then onto the final lap is Esteban Ocon close enough to make a move no was that his last opportunity to get past us I think it might have been unless he can get a great launch into turn four but he's nowhere near now Lewis Hamilton know he's done it again he wins for the second time in Bahrain in this season in this career mode he wins in Bahrain and it's another double podium for McLaren they love it round here but this time it's exactly the same podium as it was last season only this time Ricardo didn't lose the lead on the final lap Ricardo comes home in P3 Lando was P2 Valtteri Bottas going to come home for P4 Sebastian Vettel that's a great job by the Astons P5 and P6 Yuki Tsunoda comes home P7 Max Verstappen what's happened to him and Sergio Perez two shockers for them as Big Gasly rounds up the top 10 and the two Ferraris just miss out on on a couple of points and then we are going to finish behind Charles Leclerc. Bit of redemption for Charles Leclerc after we wiped him out at the start of the Grand Prix. But we are going to come home for a for a P. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home.
a fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Here's how things look in the driver's table. After an incredible performance, Lewis Hamilton secures the top spot in the driver's championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Lance Stroll certainly put in an impressive performance today. No doubt his team and fans are extremely proud. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes move to the top of the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic... Said that that's an English one too as well. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm not with him with George was, I don't even think I saw him in that race. Um, but that's what we want to see, you want to see McLaren back at the top. But that's your Bahrain Grand Prix for the first round of the second season. Probably not the most dramatic race ever, but at least we finished after Brazil. And I think, to be honest, it probably wasn't as good as the Bahrain in the first season. Um, but yeah. Good race. And that's pretty much it for this episode. Hope you in, hope you like the new calendar. Because I can't really do anything about Portsmouth and Imola. They will be in, in for season three. And yeah. Going to do some R&D stuff. And then we can get down to business for the next round. I will see you then. Goodbye.